Hello and welcome back to my crappy YouTube channel. In the last video, you saw me parade around my local area looking for some mushrooms. And if you watched it, you would know that it wasn't exactly very successful. We mostly found these small white agaricus mushrooms, which are basically like the acoustic guitar of the mushroom world. You see them everywhere and you just kind of don't want them anymore. I'm filming this in late October, so it's very late in that particular mushroom's fruiting season. So hopefully we won't find too many of them and we'll be able to see some more interesting species. It is currently about 8.30 a.m. It is like 35 degrees outside, so it's very cold and foggy. Let's go find some mushrooms. So right off the bat here, directly next to the path, is some small mushrooms. Don't know if you can see that. There's one over there, and there's one right there. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, my best estimate would be in the Russula genus, just because they're pretty common. But there seems to be a few of them growing, so that's promising. First find of the day. Pretty cool. So I'm a little bit off of the trail here, but I was walking along and I just found this little guy right here. It seems to be very young. Not quite sure what it is. It looks like maybe a young bolete mushroom. It's not much, but I mean it's something. Found something pretty special right here. Look at these. This looks like it could be a very young Amanita mushroom. Oh wait, no, 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 no. So, hold, Jesus Christ, hold on. If you can see right there, under the cap are pores. So, this is most definitely a bolete mushroom. Hopefully my focus is up to snuff here. And you can see those pores right in there. There are quite a few here developing, so I'm gonna leave the rest of them alone. Keep searching. I'm not going down there. It is a beautiful Oregon morning. Very foggy and mysterious. So it has not rained here in quite a while, so I wasn't really expecting to find much of anything, but I think I'm pleasantly surprised by the abundance of fungus around here. Let's continue. These birds are just going bananas up there. So this looks like a really good area for some mushrooms. Usually, there's water down here, but like I said, it hasn't rained in a while, so it's all dried up, but it's moist, swamp-like, so hopefully we can find some mushrooms among this leaf litter. And immediately off the bat, on this log, we found some kind of like crust fungi. Don't really know how to describe it. Growing off of this old decaying log right here. So these are breaking down and decaying the dead material. Very beneficial for forest ecosystems like this one here. There's some more mushrooms growing off of this. Well, it's a different decaying log, but let me try to get one right here. You can see right here. This looks pretty old and 
it's kind of dried up so still cool to see some mushrooms around here time to continue So recently I've gotten a very large influx of subscribers and viewers from the my recent videos featuring the euphonium. If you're one of those people that just got introduced to my channel and you really only care about euphonium and euphonium related content, then kind of feel free to unsubscribe in a way because this channel is not strictly dedicated to music. So, but if you like just general content like this, then Stick around. So here we're coming up on a more grassy area. So hopefully we can find more mushrooms around here. Wouldn't that be exciting? If you're wondering why I'm filming this in the early cold morning, uh, it's because there are less people here. And if there's one thing that I don't want while I'm filming my videos, it's other people. Look at this beautiful swamp. Dude, this is where Shrek lives, bro. So here's something that I think I missed in the last video. These are tiny little cup fungi. These are in the shape of a cup and their spores are located in there. I think that these ones are quite common, so not that amazing, but still pretty cool to see some different kinds of fungus among us. Look at that path down there. I think we should go down it. I think so. And we're right back over here. God damn it. You can see the sun rising right over there. That's how early it is. Some trees right here in the grass so a lot of mushrooms tend to grow at the bases of trees and in grassy areas so I'm hoping we can find something something around here doesn't quite look like we have that much luck around here go into this little kind of nook right here hope to god it's worth it I think I found something here, at the very least. These things growing right at the base of this tree. Should I get this out of the way? Oh. Anyway, not quite sure what they are. Picked up a whole load of them right there. Well, at the very least, they are mushrooms. And I mean, that's what we're after here, so yeah. These ones. Small little mushrooms growing off of this tree. Very cool. So it is now warming up and the frost is thawing. And there's a big grassy area over here, which looks kind of promising. I hope. Dear God, I hope. Okay, not to worry. I found some mushrooms. Look at these guys. Can't really see it on my crappy camera here they are extremely bright yellow almost like almost neon green kind of look at this that is beautiful it okay you can't you cannot tell in the video but at the naked eye it looks almost like neon green like glow in the dark this is extremely cool there seems to be a lot of them 
around here too. here in this damp corner. Look at this big old cluster of shrooms. Again, they are off of this decaying log on the forest floor. There are just a ton of them over there. I almost didn't see these ones because they're so dark on the ground. Wow, look at that. Another bolete mushroom. You can tell it's bolete because instead of gills, it has pores on the bottom. Look at those pores. Look at those pores. Another bolete. Very cool. Here we are at the crest of the large open field of the park. Hopefully we'll find some more over here. Fortunately, I can't seem to find any mushrooms in this grass here. So, we're gonna continue looking in the forest trail. There's a dog over there. Despite it not raining in quite a long while, this forest here seems to be naturally pretty moist. Which is probably why we're finding all these mushrooms around here. Mushrooms really like rain. After a good rainfall, you can probably find quite a lot of mushrooms in your area. So it's a good idea to look then. Look at this gigantic fallen tree here. I'm gonna look and see if I can find some mushrooms on this thing. You can see right down here, I found another mushroom. Look at that. This looks like probably a very old and decayed bolete fungus because I can't really see any signs of gills in there. Definitely very old and pretty nasty. If you at home want to learn more about mycology and mushroom hunting, then I highly recommend checking out a YouTube channel called Learn Your Land with Adam Harriton. He makes very good videos all about different kinds of mushrooms, as well as tips on hunting for mushrooms and cooking mushrooms. And it's a very good YouTube channel for mushroom hunters, so go check it out. So just as I was walking along here thinking that this morning was an absolute disaster, look at this. These mushrooms are absolutely enormous. Would you take a look at that? That is an absolutely beautiful and gigantic mushroom. So in order to get a feel of the sheer size of these shrooms, I'm just gonna pick up this gigantic one right here. Look at this. Look at this gigantic mushroom. The sheer size and weight of this thing. This is astounding. I never would have expected to find such a large mushroom here. You can see it left orange marks all over my hands. This is probably the biggest mushroom that I've ever seen up close in real life. So, not exactly sure what this is. It kind of resembles the jack-o'-lantern mushroom, but I'm not exactly sure. It looks like the spore color is either brown or like a dark orange. Definitely an incredible fungus mushroom. 
You can see here that they are all over this tree. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they are definitely incredible mushrooms. Let's continue. You can definitely tell that the sun is coming out now. The time is currently 10 a.m. So back there we found what might have been the jack-o'-lantern mushroom. And the really cool thing about that mushroom is that it actually glows in the dark. It's bioluminescent. So if you find one like it, and you really want to identify that it is the poisonous jack-o'-lantern mushroom. Take it home, put it in the dark, and see if it glows. I just saw a rabbit in there. Where is he? Where'd he go? I swear to God, I saw a rabbit. It is definitely daytime now. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Marvelous. dark woods in there. I would try to explore it, but it seems very thick and dense with these small conifer trees. And also my camera is kind of running low on battery, so I'm just gonna continue. I lied. I found an opening and I have to explore this. This looks like the ideal place to look for some mushrooms. There's leaf litter everywhere. There are small trees that mushrooms like to grow in association with. I found another small trail here. I don't want to get lost, so I don't think I'm gonna go that far down it. Okay, that was a waste of time. A lot of the time, us mushroom hunters get tricked, bamboozled, hoodwinked by a small piece of garbage or a leaf on the ground. If you're out and about, this goes for everyone, just just do not litter because it's bad. It's very bad for the environment to litter. Oh say can you see? Is this a bike handlebar? What? How does this? I am speechless. Look at this beautiful serene morning. Got some more bracket fungus at the base of this tree, right here. Very cool. And to top it all off, yet another small young bolete mushroom. Incredible! Okay, so. How'd we do? Well, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that this hunt was much more successful than last time. We saw a pretty good variety of different kinds of mushroom. Still not anything that's really special. No Amanita or Morel mushrooms. We did find that gigantic cluster of those bright orange mushrooms. I'm pretty sure those are jack-o'-lantern mushrooms, but like I said, I'm not exactly sure. I'm still pretty new to this whole mushroom hunting thing, so I'm not the best at identifying specific species of mushrooms. But it was still very cool to get out here in this late October morning and go on a little bit of a fungus hunt. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment because it lets me know that you exist. And I guess have a good day. See ya.